Fair, uh, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to take a quick call on part two in respect of the questions that were raised by the members Fenton and Moroni. And in fact, Ms. Moroni, I think, quoted uh, is saying the bill sh shows a complete lack of awareness about the issues facing young people. Well, I su suggest to the House that it shows a complete lack of awareness by that member on either this bill or the ACC Act. It's not 80% of 80%. The present schedule to the ACC Act. Well, so this is a really good example, I think, of where the members on the other side assume something and then spend half an hour criticising the government for a policy that simply does not exist in the bill. It doesn't exist in the bill. Well, well I was just getting the, the, the tether a little longer before hanging, you, hanging the member with it. The simple fact is, well, Ali, I wasn't on the select committee. If, 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 as a member of that select committee, someone was doing their job diligently, one should have asked the question if it was that important to the member, uh, rather than wait till the committee stage and expose her own shortcomings in a lack of knowledge about the bill. However, the, act, the ACC Act at the moment already prescribes for the new entrant rate that Labor put in place, and bear in mind that all of this ranting and raving about the fact that a starting out wage is such a, an evil thing, they in fact put one in place uh, for three months. So when the government does it for six months, it's something awful, but when they do it for three months, it's something noble. A and I certainly get an inconsistency on that. But in, in, uh, part, in Schedule 1 of the ACC Act, anybody who was in that new entrant rate now who was injured is paid 80% of the adult minimum wage. It's not being amended. The description of Schedule 1 is being amended to reflect the new nomenclature in the starting out wage bill that will be put into the Minimum Wage Act. The same thing will apply if effectively they are earning, as the member said, 80% of the adult minimum wage and they are injured then their weekly earnings are calculated on the adult minimum wage and weekly compensation will be calculated on 80% of that. Therefore, their effective take-home income will not change during the period that they are injured. Um, uh, I'm going to call Denise Roach. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um